So the benefits of knowledge are many. And again, I think most of you know the very famous hadith, Man salaka tariqan yaltami sufihi ilma sahalallahu lahu tariqan jannah. Whoever adheres to a path of knowledge, again, whoever adheres to a path of knowledge, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make his path easy to jannah. Uh, that's why the jannah jani, again, most of people know this, oh, seeking knowledge is a path to jannah. Seeking knowledge is a path to ease your path to jannah itself. So let me share with you another hadith. Again, the hadith that I just quoted to you is part and parcel of this hadith. It's a very long hadith. Okay. Uh, Rasulullah said, if anyone travels on a road in search of knowledge, Allah will cause him to travel on one of the roads of paradise. Another one, the angels will bow, okay, will lower their wings in their great pleasure with one who seeks knowledge. The inhabitants of the heavens and the earth and the fish in the deep water will ask forgiveness for the learned man. Imagine you are running right now, can in your homes, okay, in your place, uh, in your homes with this virtual session of ours. Imagine the inhabitants of earth, the animals, the fish in the water is actually praying for us. Uh, okay, this is something that is unnatural, can. But Rasulullah is stating that seekers of knowledge, people are respecting you, not just human beings. Animals are also respecting you. Angels bow to you. Angels lower their wings for us out of respect. And they are dua to us. Okay? If you want to dapat free dua, kan? A lot of people love free stuff, kan? You want free dua? Seek knowledge. If you learn, seek knowledge, you will get dua from not just human beings, the angels, the animals, the inhabitants of earth. Again, Rasulullah SAW said, the superiority of the learned man over the devout, like that of the moon on the night when it is full. So a person who seeks knowledge, okay, the difference between a person who seeks knowledge and a person who is an abid, an, a devout person, maksudnya, a person who, you know, uh, practices uh, an abundance of physical ritual, okay, he practices a lot of uh, salat, puasa and all that. A person who seeks knowledge is better in the sight of Allah, is greater in the sight of Allah than this person, okay. The learned are the heirs of the Prophet. Uh, the learned men, the, the people who seek knowledge and become learned people are the inheritors. Uh, ni al-ulama warathatul anbiya. Again, al-ulama, the scholars, are the inheritors. Again, uh, adalah bewaris nabi, the inheritors of the Prophet's legacy. Why? Because the Prophet didn't leave any money. He lived only wisdom and knowledge. So whoever had taken it, faqad akhada minhu, Hazan Wafir of Kamakal. And had taken from it a portion of his legacy. Had taken of it a portion of his share. Uh, so, kita ni semua sebenarnya, all of us are actually has had a share of the Prophet's fara'id. His fara'id is not money, his fara'id is knowledge. Again, so, when we seek knowledge, especially religious knowledge, especially knowledge about Allah, about our way of life, Islam, again, we are actually inheriting the Prophet's legacy.